All right, guys, lesson 11, we're getting into division on these last two lessons, as we do Thursday and Friday. So we're finding quotients, we're dividing. And uh, the rules for dividing are the same as multiplying, so nothing really new, just some practice here. One's positive, one's negative, so 6 will go into 24 four times, so negative 4. Uh, this particular one right here, I like to think of this as 3 going into 15, which would be 5. But since that decimal is over 1 and making that 0 0.3 instead of 3, then that's going to grow it from 5 to 50. So my answer is going to be 50 when I divide mentally. And since the sign of 1 is negative and 1 is positive, it will be a negative 50. And then over here, the order in which you divide is important because this is really 4 divided by 20. Well, I'm sorry, negative 4 over negative 20. This is another way to think about this. So if it's negative 4 divided by negative 20, a lot of you are going to answer 5, and that's incorrect. That is the reciprocal of our answer here. Uh, 4 is our common factor, so we could reduce this to the right answer. Dividing both by 4 would give us the correct answer of 1 fifth. 1 fifth. How do I know it's positive 1 fifth? Because it was a negative divided by a negative, and it reduces to a fifth. Or if you're like in love with decimals, you might have had 0.2 same thing. Alright, finding quotients. If we're finding quotients like this, we are going back to our sweet rule of keep, change, flip. So uh, I'll do A right over here. Keep, change to multiplication, flip to four-thirds. B, keep nine-fourths, change to multiplication, multiply by four-thirds. The big difference here is that uh, the first one is multiplying. Well, we'll get there in a second. Let's do the keep, change, flip for the other. C. Keep negative 5 sevenths. Change the multiplication by the reciprocal of negative 1 third, which would be negative uh, 3 over 1. And then D. Uh, keep negative 5 thirds. Change the multiplication of the reciprocal of 1 six, which is 6 over 1. Now let's get to the work. Positive times a positive is a positive. You have no diagonal factors, so this is going to be 6 fifteenths. So the first one is 6 fifteenths. All right, second one. Uh, diagonal factors at the wazoo. 4 goes into that once, 4 goes into that once, 3 goes into that 3 times, 3 goes into that 1 time. It was a positive divided by a negative, so this is negative. <clears throat> 3 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, this is 3 over 1, but it is negative, so negative 3. C, uh, diagonally, nothing good, negative divided by, or times a negative in this look, is going to be a positive, and you get 15 over 7. I'm acceptable with that, or if you want 2 and a 7th, that's the same thing. 15 sevenths is fine by me, I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, last one, keep change flip over here. Negative multiplied by positive, so this is going to be a negative result. Diagonally, we have a common factor of 3 here, so let's knock that out. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 1 is 1, so we end up with negative 10, or negative 10 over 1, which is the same thing. Booyah!